What a weird planet. You stargazing? Not quite, Uhu. I'm trying to look for planets, but I found Will Smith smacking the crap out of Chris Rock instead. Mmm, here, let me take a look. Maybe we can go learn something in today's new video from Raven Manor. Why are you yelling? I don't know. Space, the final frontier. The more explored in the depths of our world's oceans, because everyone apparently hates Earth. Before we start spitting out mad facts at you, there are two categories of planets. Terrestrial, inner planets, and gas giants, the outer planets. The former being closest to the sun and having a rocky surface, and the latter being planets that are farther out and made of mostly gases and liquids. For the sake of this video and my sanity, we are only going over the first five planets. This right here is Mercury, the closest planet to the sun and smallest planet from our list. It's visible to the naked eye and was first observed and recorded by Galileo from the 17th century. It is the second most hottest planet in our solar system. Despite its close proximity to the sun, it contains craters that go so deep that it harbors ice. With its weak atmosphere, there's nothing protecting its surface from meteors. So this planet has the most craters in our solar system. Lastly, this planet is shrinking because its iron core is cooling. Coming after it is Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system due to its plentiful gases of CO2 trapping heat. Its temperature can soar over 880 Fahrenheit, so probes that have ventured here melted in 2 hours. Clouds are so thick here that the surface cannot be viewed without sending probes. This planet is also known as the evening or morning star because of how it shines so brightly by reflecting 70% of all sunlight. It is the second brightest object in our night sky right after the moon. This planet, alongside Mercury, has no moons. Its surface is comprised of several mountains, valleys, and tons of volcanoes. Since scientists believe this planet once held large bodies of water before it all boiled away, we refer to this planet as Earth's sister. Despite its corrosive atmosphere filled with sulfuric acid and intense heat, in the future, scientists may switch their focus to Venus than Mars, because it's faster and easier to get there from a Delta V standpoint. Basic summary is the total change in velocity required for a space mission. Now we have our beloved and sadly polluted Earth. We live here, and we will most likely die here. Our planet is not a perfect sphere, so there are areas where gravity is uneven. One of these places include Hudson Bay of Canada, which has a lower gravity than its neighbors. The moon is not the only thing to orbit around Earth, as we have two other dust moons, which is just a giant dust formation. Mount Everest and Hawaii's Mauna Kea are the tallest mountains in the world, but which one is taller is debatable depending on where you measure from. The driest place on Earth is actually next to the biggest body of water, the Atacama Desert in Chile. This desert lies in a rain shadow, a place in which rain rarely falls in. This rain shadow is between two mountain ranges, and the winds called the Pacific Anticyclone lose moisture as it makes its way here. Last fun fact, did you know that Earth used to be purple because of ancient microbes? Before chlorophyll, these microbes used retinol to absorb sunlight in a different spectrum of colors chlorophyll did not. Remember that chlorophyll absorbs blue and red, thus reflecting green. Retinol did the exact opposite. However, chlorophyll is way more efficient, so the balance tipped in favor of chlorophyll at some point. Mars is known as the red planet because of its soil's high iron content. There are huge dust storms here spanning for months, making its entire surface appear red. However, the planet is actually very cold. Martian volcanoes are incredibly violent due to the planet's weaker gravity and smaller size. The largest peak on Mars is a volcano known as Olympus Mons which is three times higher than Mount Everest. This planet also contains two moons called Deimos and Phobos, which translates to panic and fear in Latin because girls love bad boys that trigger anxiety. Unfortunately for Phobos, scientists estimate that this moon will crash onto Mars' surface 30 to 50 million years from now. As you all know, several rovers have been sent here, which discovered signs suggesting evidence of previous life due to traces of flowing water from 2.5 billion years ago. Jupiter Jupiter's clouds are made of ammonia crystals, which change color when reacting with sunlight. These clouds feature the Great Red Spot, an anticyclonic storm large enough to contain three planets the size of Earth. This gigantic storm is said to be shrinking over time though, as its size has notably decreased since its 17th century record. Jupiter has three main ring segments, the halo, the main ring, and the gossamer rings. This giant planet also has 53 named moons and 26 unnamed moons. Out of the 79 moons, there are four major moons called the Galilean moons, which consists of Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. 
Jupiter has the brightest aurora in the solar system because of its charged particles from the moon Io. Jupiter is also the largest planet in the solar system in both size and mass. You can fit all the known planets in here and still have space. The moon of Europa has the potential of harboring life due to its liquid ocean covered in thick ice. Scientists hope to venture there someday, but they will need to bring a submarine after drilling into that thick ice. Wow, I, I learned so much new stuff that I probably studied in school but forgot over time because girl, I got things to do! That's right, it was so educational, wasn't it? To remember all this stuff that you might have learned back in school if you paid attention, but it's been years now, so none of us really remember anything unless you learned it recently, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was... Good, good job. Thanks. Good video. Subscribe to Raven Mary today, subscribe on Patreon.